Competition! Hey YouGi2, DarkRagician84 here doing a deck profile on my Zane the Truesdale character deck. Um, so basically it's classic Cyber Dragons, only it's a bit <laughs> inconsistent. Um, but it's a lot of fun. Um, yeah, and uh, it does some cool plays when it gets going. Um, I guess this was kind of an excuse to play classic Cyber Dragons and just sort of play them how they were before Xyz has even existed. Um, and they, again, it's not a proper Cyber Dragon deck, it's more. Uh, like I said, it's a character deck, um, but I might change this into a proper pass format Cyber Dragon deck, which I'll talk about later on. Um, but for now, let's just go over the profile. So to start things off, we have three copies of Cyber Dragon, or a, a very iconic monster in the game, a Zane. Uh, one of Zane's signature monsters. Um, yeah, it's pretty standard, gotta have him in there. Um, then two copies of Proto Cyber Dragon, um, the card whose name is treated as Cyber Dragon on the field. Now, I must point out though, this isn't a completely accurate or pure character deck. Um, there's uh, I looked at the way his deck was on Yu-Gi-Oh! Wiki and there wasn't really much to work with in terms of other monsters. So I'm kind of going against my own rules where I play, um, like for instance, more than one copy of a monster that Zane would have had. Um, it, as far as I remember, he had one Proto Cyber in here and one Cyber Phoenix. Um, but it's plausible that he could have had multiple copies. Um, so I'm just trying to get a, the best balance I could. Uh, speaking of Cyber Phoenix, here he is, two copies of him, then two copies of Cyber Kirin, which is more there to use with Power Bond. Um, uh, basically, I tribute it, and until the end of the turn, any effect damage inflicted to me is zero. The problem is, um, I never see it when I do play Power Bond, or I see it when I don't need it. Um, it is a struggle. Um, then I'm playing two copies of Cyber Valley. I tried to play three, but didn't have any room. Um, and then I'm playing one of each of the Cyber Dark monsters, uh, Edge, Horn, and uh, Keel, I nearly forgot the name, um, their effects aren't likely to go off since I only play a one level 3 dragon in the deck. Um, it's more, they're more there to just because, and uh, it's there for Cyber Dark Dragon, um, which I can get more use out of. And the dragons I do play, of course, are. Infernal Dragon and Exploder Dragon. I feel like I should have played more than one copy of Exploder Dragon, um, just to get more use out of the Cyber Darks, but uh, again, I, I was just running low on space. And then one copy of Heavy Mech Support Platform. Um, although he didn't summon it, it was present in his deck. So, um, yeah, I'm just going with what was on the list um, on the wiki. Anyway, as for the spells, one copy of Cyberdark Impact, which I know he uh, doesn't have in the deck, but would have done. Then three copies of Overload Fusion, uh, two copies of Power Bond, and two copies of Polymerization and one copy of Future Fusion. Um, I'm specifically using the Priorata, um, because, well, 
again, this is technically a pass format deck as well, um, following traditional format. Um, so I'll add that in. Then a single copy of Defusion. Yeah, unfortunately, a lot of these spells are bricky as fuck. Um, it's a struggle. Then two copies of Limiter Removal, since it is a machine deck. <clears throat> and Different Dimension Capsule, something he definitely played. And then Staples, Graceful Charity, Pot of Greed, and Monster Reborn as well. And we've got Megamorph, well it's not really a staple, but it is something he does play. And finally, MST. Uh, on with the traps. Um, unfortunately, though, all the traps are situational. Um, they work when they want to. Have cybernetic hidden technology. Um, actually, probably not familiar with some of the traps. Um, this is a continuous one, which makes it so that when the opponent's monster declares an attack, I can send Cyber Dragon eye control or a fusion monster that lists it as a material to the graveyard and destroy the attacking monster. And rebirth judgment um, to change stuff into dragons uh, so that I can use the cyber darks more easily. Power wall, um, something he played um, during damage calculation when you would take battle damage from an opponent's attacking monster, send one card from the top of your deck to the graveyard for every 500 damage roundup you are about to take. Also, you take no battle damage from that battle. This graveyard setup, then damage polarizer, uh, which is very situational. Activate only when an effect that inflicts damage is activated, negate its activation and effect, and each player draws a card. Now, you would think, wouldn't you, that this would work with Power Bond, but unfortunately it doesn't, um, because of a stupid technicality in the wording. As Power Bond states, um, during the end phase of the turn this is activated, you take damage equal to the amount of attack gained from this effect at the time of the summon. Um, so it says nothing about inflicting damage. So stupid. Uh, and Call of the Haunted. And now for the Fusion deck. Right, I have three copies of Five-Headed Dragon. Um, probably one of the only times you'll see it. Um, it's more there for show, really, um, and to use with Cyber Dark Dragon. In fact, I wanted to put in Fusion Guard so I could try and mill it, but again, I just didn't have the room for it. Um, I did kind of want to cheat and play Extra Foolish Burial, um, even though it's not a card that he plays and didn't exist in the GX era. But, um, yeah, it would have helped it out a lot. Um, but yeah, it's no way to summon it, but um, the rest I can, including his ace monster and I think favourite monster, three copies of a Cyber End Dragon, the 4K Piercer, then one copy of Cyber Twin Dragon, one Cyber Dark Dragon, one copy of Chimeratech Fortress Dragon, and two copies of Chimeratech Over Dragon. Um, so yeah, that is the Zane character deck. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did, leave a like and a comment, share and subscribe if you haven't subbed already. Um, now, like I said, um, I'm thinking about turning this deck into um, like a proper Cyber Dragon deck, but past format. Um, I'm thinking I might just change it into a September 2007 format Cyber Dragon deck. Um, although um, it might mean I'll have to take out um, two copies of Overload Fusion. Um, and Fortress Dragon, because Fortress Dragon didn't 
exist in the game in 2007. Um, it's not the real life game, and I'm pretty sure that Overload Fusion was limited at the time um, because of Comeritech O2K. I'll have to check that. Um, I, boy, I, I think that'll be fun, and obviously I'll make it follow the September of 7 list. Um, uh, either way, I just wanted an excuse to play a Cyber Dragon deck and not play Infinity. I mean, I could if I wanted to, but um, and not run Infinity at all, but I just know that people will just give me shit for not playing it. And, um, and it'll just be a repeat of the whole Dark or bullshit all over again when I played Masked Tears without Dark Lore, and I just don't want to go through that again. Anyway, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. See you later. Bye bye. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the Dark Retrition YouTube channel.